There are dozens of new recommendations tonight for how to keep children in care safe. A coroner's jury in Toronto compiled a list after hearing the heartbreaking story of Jeffrey Baldwin. Just five years old, Baldwin was starved to death by his grandparents. His short life was filled with neglect and abuse, and as is so often the case, he was failed by a system meant to protect him. Christina Stevens has the story. A little Superman toddler, a picture that couldn't be more in contrast to how Jeffrey Baldwin died at five years old, weighing the same as he did at his first birthday. The Catholic Children's Aid Society had placed Jeffrey with his grandparents, who then kept him locked up, drinking toilet water and chronically starved. Now a coroner's jury has made 103 recommendations directed at preventing another child from dying such a horrific death. And it was preventable. We should have known who Elva and Botano and Norm Kidman were. But the Catholic Children's Aid Society didn't. They hadn't checked their own files, which would have revealed that a child had died in Jeffrey's grandparents' care before, and they'd been convicted of child abuse in the past. Today's recommendations aim to improve background checks, communications, and how closely extended family is checked out and gives Ontario two years to fully implement a system that would allow all children's aid societies to access each other's records. The province's child advocate is still calling for a larger public inquiry into the system as a whole. New ideas need to be brought forward. It's very similar to the discussions happening in other provinces. Another recommendation, introduce penalties for anyone who has knowledge of child abuse and doesn't report it. The child protection worker who apprehended Jeffrey's siblings on the day he died points out other adults lived in the home. There are many adults that they failed to report the well-being or whatever was happening to Jeffrey in that home. It was uh, extremely hard. The jury also thinks all 46 of Ontario's children's aid societies should be ruled into one. Our position will be that we will do everything in our power to make sure that uh, such a thing doesn't happen again. The jury had one more personal request. They'd like a memorial named after Jeffrey to forever remind people that the safety of children is everyone's responsibility. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.